Hey everybody, what's going on? Run down here. Here we go. Let's fight the Divine Dragon. So this video, we're gonna try to take out the Divine Dragon. We'll fight Zackwell and honestly wrap up every, almost every optional thing. There'll be one last optional thing for us to do. Let's fight Faust. But before that, we have uh, this fight, which is probably just as hard, if not slightly less hard than Faust. <sighs> Alright, let's go. So, the soul of the Divine Dragon. Only this time, we do not have the Dragon Block Staff to help us actually, you know, defeat the Dragon. So, this is just a raw fight. Let's go. Alright. The Japanese version is definitely harder. That's, I, I actually took a second to mentally prepare before fighting this guy because I'm expecting to legitimately get a game over. Like, this guy is gonna... Well, it's gonna be really hard because Dart isn't, isn't ready to start the fight. Dart? Why aren't you ready to go, buddy? Huh? What is this? Oh, Smoke Bomb. It's, well, I just troll and throw a Smoke Bomb. Uh... He counterattacks is the problem. Everyone's gonna guard except for Dart, who needs to go so he can build his SP. Please don't fail, Dart. Cool. Awesome. Alright, 785. Alright, Dart's ready to go. The Divine Dragon's gonna go, and... Alright, this move, that's fine. Ow. I mean, it's not like, fine, fine, but... Ow. Alright, so the Divine Dragon is, uh, he is a counter character, meaning that, like, if I attack him, I can give him extra moves. So I just need to be careful on exactly how I approach this. Alright, speed down. Power down. Alright, everything's going well so far. We're doing it, we're doing it. Dart. Uh... Power up, Miranda? We don't worry about speed up yet. We'll use it if we're in a pinch. Yeah, we'll use speed up if we're in a pinch. Let's go ahead and power up. Alright, Miranda's powered up, because I really don't want her to burn through her moves too quick. Miranda, start the party off, girl. You're always good at starting the party. Let's do it. Whew. I'm expecting... I mean, if I get a game... If I beat him, I can probably beat Faust. But I'm expecting uh, a GG from one of these guys, either him or Faust. I can probably beat this guy and be okay. We're about to find out. Here it is. This guy's tough. And you'll see why. So here, the reason he's so tough is he has access to all of his abilities. With the only exception being a fear, a special fear move that he has in his other form. But in this form particularly, he has access to all of his moves, and I can't kill parts of him to take those moves away. There's only one thing I can hit, one valid target, and that is obviously his body. So, I think, I don't know, I'm not gonna I'd say how much HP I think he's got, but I think he's got a pretty chonky amount of HP. Um, Alright, sorry, I'm just playing with the pen. Kongo gets to go. He's a counter character, so I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried I'm giving him a lot of moves, but obviously I can't tell anyone to not go as a Dragoon. So he hasn't gone yet, so he still has three turns of weakness. Plus he's slowed, so there's his first turn. Is this Divine Dragon Ball? It is. Okay, cool. So Divine Dragon Ball, this is his first move that you're kind of like, oh, this is gonna hurt. This is his first move that doesn't. And it hurts. We're wrong. But this is not really, like, the move that you go, eh, although you still go, eh, this Kongle takes a casual thousand damage, right? I think I still ult. Yeah, I do. I was thinking about not ulting, but because he's a counter character and he can burn through his moves real quick, I'm going to go ahead and ult. So, I want you to think about that for a second. That hit Kongle for a grand. Kongo takes half damage because he's a Dragoon. The Divine Dragon is also powered down and takes another half. That would have hit Kongo for something like 3,000. This is why this boss is terrifying. 
if we don't kill him shortly, like, if we, we're tr I'm trying so hard to rush him down. And that is, like, I'm trying so hard to rush him down before he actually does some serious damage. Alright, this is nothing. That's actually great. That does so little damage to me. He hasn't used Divine Dragon Cannon yet, thank goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's... that's nice. Alright, well, um, I was kind of worried about this fight. He's already in red. That doesn't mean the fight's over. Please understand. That is, he still has life in him. Well, we're gonna go ahead and final burst this guy. And he is weak, so he'll take a little bit extra damage to this move. Yeah, 2.3k. Alright, he's still slowed, so we might get a turn. We do. Congo gets to go. Let's see if Congo can do some damage here. Alright. What did he get before? Like 1.3k or something? Oh, 1.4. Oh, okay, cool. That was a fight. All right. Sure. Easy? Hey, 8,000 experience. Isn't that what I got for beating all the other dragons? Yeah, but I mean, damn. Okay, well, I'll take two level ups for that. One on Dart, one on our girl Miranda. Congle's inching his way closer to his 39 as well. Okay, well, um... Easy clap? Uh, I guess we'll get the chest then. Which is a D stone amulet. I don't, I forget what it does. I don't know. It's, it's D stone amulet. Uh, you can look it up. <laughs> it doesn't do anything worthwhile, I'll tell you that much. So, fun fact if you want to um, come back later after you fight Zackwell, you cannot fight the dragons. If you, you cannot fight the dragons, the three dragons in this area. You can't fight the Divine Dragon, Firebrand, or Regal, or whatever the heck their names are. Because um, Zack will die and releases their souls. So, you killing them here is, like I said, a bonus. But that also means you can come back and get that chest, because, um... Boom, boom. Oh god, I meant to go right! You can come back and get that chest for free, and there isn't a Divine Dragon blocking you. So, the item that he drops us, I think is like Flash Hall or something. Which I'll probably just use the next encounter anyway, just to throw it and get it over with. Boom. Doop, doop, doop. This, 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 this. Right, up, right. Cool. We still need to get into an encounter anyway, just to build up our SP. So, we will! Wait, wanna heal first? <gasps> I didn't heal first. Okay, as long as it's not Hollow Knights, we should be fine. As I wanna be anything but Hollow Knights. It'll be Hollow Knights now. Oh, undead. Okay, that works too. Worst thing to cast is fear. I'll take fear. Alright, hit him very hard. Easy. These guys aren't that bad. Oops. Well, I can complete additions. They're really not that bad. Their physical attack hurts, but it's not really, you know that big a deal. Alright, well Miranda's back up to full. Cool. So, Congo and Darts don't need to build up. Alright, well Congo needs two more attacks now because I failed. It didn't matter, Dart needed another attack anyway, so we were gonna have to do another, um... Another encounter. Alright, everyone needs so much XP. So, uh, if you pay attention, like, those guys, you can see how much XP they're giving me. And it is less than what, uh, at least less than what the wiki says. That's, that's my only real comparison between the two versions right now, is what the wiki says it should give me, and what I'm actually seeing happen on screen here. So it may even be wrong for the English version, too. I'd hope not. I'd hope they at least got that right. <laughs> Alright, Spectres, which, honestly, they have a 50-50 chance to get hit anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and power up Miranda to throw a Psychic Bomb on them if I can't hit them for some reason. Ha! <laughs> well, I think that's like a 5% chance to happen too. That's why it's funny. Yep. These guys have like a 50-50 shot whether or not you even hit them. 
Damn, that second, that, that second hit there is kind of throwing me for a loop. Alright, uh, well, I mean, I guess I don't need to use Psychic like, Bomb. Okay, that works for me. We'll just wait for Kongle to get another move. Hopefully soon, TM. Alright, that guy doesn't get to go. Kongle does. Cool, alright. Nope. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish up Mayfield. So we have the, um... Hey, Rose leveled up. She's 33. Cool. I'll be that in three years. Or two years. Oh, God. It's so so close. Alright, cool. We're gonna heal. Pop a heal. And then we go to the next room. Away! So I think the next room is Rose's room. Where she gets confronted by all the ghosts of all the people she's killed. Alright, so here's one. I don't remember the way to go. Two. Three. Four. Uh, I know I see that one, but I'm wondering. Okay, cool. This, this. The only logical explanation is that. Cool. And now we go. Oh, right. I want to walk. So I was curious on if Rose. Yeah, so if you're running, Dart is running. Interesting. But if you're walking, Dart is walking. So all the ghosts appear who do not like Rose. They don't like. You're a monster, join us, Rose. Join us. You're a terrible person. Woo! You killed us. And then she sparkles and tells them all to go away. She's like, I can't die yet. I'm still on a journey. But I will join you soon. And then you can have your revenge. And she walks into my soul. Cool, we leave. That was it. Alright. Let's go. I mean, obviously I have to walk forward. I think it's forward again. It is. And then left, right. I think it's straight, right? I think I know the rest of the path. Yeah. Yeah, I okay, cast the path. Awesome. Okay. So now... We find somebody who looks a little familiar. If you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? So... Right now we're exploring Mayfield, City of the Dead. There's a green light ahead. Somebody who looks awfully familiar. I wonder who it could be, guys. Can it be? Is it our boy? Lavitz. We're like, Lavitz? He's like, yes, it's me. I died and came here. And we're like, cool. He's like, I'm definitely not possessed by a demon. And we're like, wait, we didn't mention anything about a demon. And Lavitz is like, heh <laughs> whoops, I'm possessed by a demon. And we're like, is that true? And he's like, yes, kill me! Shwoop. Yeah, he's possessed by a demon. And he runs away from us, we chase after him. And we're like, oh no, we gotta go get Lavitz. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Definitely. Alright, you're one on my chest. Let's go. I'm gonna get this item real quick. Oh my god, no I'm not. Cool, let's go. I saw that encounter. I was like, I ain't playing that shit. <laughs> that encounter rate was insane. I knew it was high in this room, but dang. Alright, so now we're fighting our boy Lavitz. And... There is unfortunately some choices here, but I think they are... I think they're just like talk to him is kind of the only like choices really get to make so Lavis is being controlled by a demon and it's a demon who's essentially running Mayfield right now and killing him releases a whole bunch of souls and allows them to escape and you know move on but I guess this is the afterlife but move on past the afterlife the physical realm that is you know essentially move on and die so he says grrrr uh, you don't attack. Lavitz is a counter character, so as long as you don't attack him, he will not attack you. So you just sit here and guard the whole time. I'm also gonna move my camera. Okay, cool. So we're not using any magic yet because we need, uh, talk to him? Oh, that's do nothing. Okay, cool. So we definitely want to do the top one each time. Again, Lavitz, counter character, so talking to him causes him to turn around. And he's like, what? 
Y you said words to me. They were honeyed words. I'm gonna turn around and show you this growth on my back. That's Zackwell, so we're gonna fight him. Yes. Oops. I failed. Anyway, we wanna kill him. I think so. It's not two things I can target, right? It's the only thing I can target. Cool. Huh. I failed that addition. Anyway, we want to do enough damage to that thing, eventually it's going to pop, and then we fight the demon controlling, uh, Lavitz. What the heck is this move? I've never seen this before. What on earth is this? What is this nonsense? Do I ult? Do I Gates of Heaven? Just to cure us real quick? Uh... Because I don't have another way to cure them otherwise. Wow, fuck off. I've never seen that move before. And believe me, I've played this game enough times. Wow. Cool. Well, alright, well I guess we're using Gates of Heaven real quick. So, Gates of Heaven uh, is a move you'll probably never see me use again because I hate this sound so much. Or I guess it's Heaven's Gate. Or it's Gates of Heaven. And it also removes... It heals us all to full. I think. Either that or it's a healing breeze to everybody. But it also removes all status affliction. So that's why I'm using it right now. I did not know that he had that move. That's terrifying. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna guard for the rest of this. So she can still cast her ultimate, which is fine. Unfortunately, she's not gonna be able to not attack once uh, Lavitz turns around here. Yeah, we're just gonna guard. Grrr, I'm a possessed by a zombie. I'm a zombie. Alright, well, she has to attack him. She can't not. I think the way this is explained in the story is because she's, like, entered insanity. Oh, let's guess the wind dance. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I didn't know he did that. I very rarely attack him. Unless I'm, like, trying to do some kind of weird challenge or something. Alright, Miranda should go. She has to attack him. She's insane. And the dragoon, she must go face... More should they make some attack again. At least I think that's Gust of Wind Dance. That's what it looks like. Talk to him. Lavitz, show me your back again. And Lavitz is like, what? No, my back. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, everybody's gonna guard unless you're a dragon. <laughs> I had no idea that was a thing. Alright, so she's done being a dragoon. Cool. Well, now she needs to build up her SP, so there's no reason for anyone to attack but her right now. So if she does become confused, she's doing the least amount of damage to us. Cool. I'll take it. That works. Also, she gets a crap ton of SP now. Thank God for Amulet, by the way, that lets me use Heaven's Gate. I still have the ability to ult twice if I need to. Like, seriously. Okay, so he doesn't want to confuse us then, but he'll confuse us before? Alright, God. That's fine. We're just gonna sit here and counter. By counter, I mean guard. Until it's, I guess, Dart's turn or something? Or Lavis's turn? And we get to talk to him. Lavis, turn around! What? Turn around? And expose my back? If I have to... Alright, guard. Miranda, attack is back. Yo, this goes on for a minute. <laughs> well, I guess the only person hitting it right now is Miranda, so... That's right, once uh, Miranda has guarded once... Alright, we're gonna let Kongol attack now. 
Hey, you can't hit us this time, dude. Wow, that was gonna hit all three of us? That's lame. Alright, Congo, do your thing. Heck yeah, nice job, dude. Alright, the rest of us are guarding, because if Congo gets berserk or gets uh, confusion, it won't be that bad. At least one of us, you know what I mean? My berserk lavitz, I must attack you. Maybe he does it every other time? Because we didn't even hit him that time and he used his uh, confusion on us. I wonder if he does that all the time. Or, um... I don't know what makes him do that, the confusion spell. Lavitz, turn around, show me your back. My back? That sounds like a great idea! Take a look at it! Stab it really fast! Alright, everyone guards but Congo, because Congo does the most damage. Alright, Congo, go! Damage him! Okay, this, this part of the fight really isn't that hard. In fact, it's kind of a joke. Well, if I can actually complete an addition, it'd go by even faster. I thought about attacking with Dart there, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't want to die to confusion, what a way to go. Oh my god. Here we go. Cool. We beat him, which means now the real boss fight. Zackwell. So, Zackwell's a pretty unique boss, and that, well, one, he can just instant kill you whenever he wants, uh, but the big problem about this boss fight is he has significantly more HP than he does in the English version. Alright, so first things first, speed down. Less moves for you, please. Cool. Next up, we want to power down. Oh, he's gonna get to move. I don't think that's insta-kill, just damage. Yeah, alright. That's still fine. I'm still fine with him doing that, because that's not insta-kill. Alright, power down. He's susceptible now. And then we power up Miranda. Alright. Now Miranda's going, and we ult. So this is going to be nice. So, this is what I saved all this for. Apparently he has, a, like I said, a lot more HP in the Japanese version than he does in the English. Like, almost significantly. Um, which, this fight can get really out of hand, especially if he starts casting um, insta-kills on our party. But, the best part about being Miranda in our party is that not only is she powered up, not only is he powered down, not only are we already in Miranda's super, but she's light versus him being dark. So, even more damage on top of this. Let's see how much damage this does. This should be, like, insane. Oh, 6.4? Oh, yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, yeah, that's not bad, like, all things considered. I don't know how much HP he's got, so... 6.4k might actually be, like, half his HP or something dumb. Nah, it's not. Eh, no. I keep final bursting. It's just more consistent than using uh, his basic dragon attack damage, like his basic physical. Plus, I i mean, I might as well use the MP on something, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I might as well use that MP on something. Let me check my Discord message real quick. Let's see if it's anything funny that I want to share with the class. Uh. It is not Derek calling me his father. Cool. All right, Randy, you got to go again. How would you like to pop him in the face? She says I would love to. All right. Well, this boss fight was uh, a little bit of a I'm gonna say a, a small bit of a letdown. I mean, not really, because he hasn't. I don't want him to insta kill me or anything. Alright, here's how this thing goes wrong. Worst case scenario, he survives this attack, gets his own attack off, and insta-kills Miranda, and we can't heal 
Miranda, obviously. And I have to redo this boss fight. Off screen. I'm mad. Worst case scenario. Best case scenario, Congo gets to go and just kills him his turn. Cool. Please, Congo, kill him. That should be a kill. So I feel like he was weak as a physical, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, that killed him. <laughs> I saw the little twitch. Yep, definitely dead now, because we're all deforming. I wish this was faster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's cool to go ahead and have everyone deform so we can do the final, like, little cutscene thing. But also, damn. And my background needs to change. And then Kongo needs to deform. And then Dart needs to run forward and smack him in the face. Nice. And then we get a cutscene. I guess because it leads into a cutscene. With our boy Lavitz. <gasps> Ooh, spooky ghosts! Hiya! Oh, yay, the audio messed up. My favorite. Dart throws down his sword, which I think that's the. Beta sword? I don't know. Lavitz! Don't attack me! Lavitz, it's me, your friend Dart! He's like, grrr, Dart's super cool, I don't know what to do! So he stabs himself in an attempt to kill Zackwell, who is still controlling him. How did he... did he pull that out of his chest? I don't know how that worked. <laughs> the audio gets so borked in this cutscene. Same with, like, the other cutscene. Like, these 3D cutscenes do not... Or, like, I guess, things here, they do not handle... The emulator does not like them. <laughs> so, which is why we get such warped audio. And unfortunately, it's a little spooky because last time this happened, the game crashed on me. So I'm really hoping the game doesn't crash on me. Alright, so what's happening in the cutscene? Anyway, Lavitz, or Dart's just saying goodbye one more time. And that's essentially it. They're like, dude, thank you for everything you've done. That wasn't me getting choked up, that was actually me burping. Anyway, Lavitz is like, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I can't stay, I'm kind of falling apart. He doesn't want to show his friends he's, you know, actually moving on. Now that he can. Because Lavitz couldn't move on before because he was so worried about his friends. And he's gonna, with his last bit of life left, he's gonna open up the way to the Sigil Sphere and tell them, good luck, guys. You know, save the world for me. And they're like, we will, man. We will. And he opens up the portal to the rest of, to the last bit of the game, which is essentially the moon that never sets. And we get some XP. I, I fast forwarded through that because I don't get the satisfying sound effects. I don't know what that was. I think it was healing fog or something, probably useless. Please don't be borked. Yes! Okay. Save state. Uh, here. Save state one. Okay, cool. Alright, well, that's the, 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 this area, honestly. There's nothing left to do besides to go out and complete the game. Um, but there is one last thing we have to do, guys. There's one last enemy for us to fight. <sighs> we have to go fight Faust. And I'm not looking forward to it. I'm sure... I'm not in that. Oh, I'm not. Alright, guys. The most difficult challenge of this run is coming up next. I'm sorry the audio is borked. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it in the next video. Until then, I have to stop playing. So I will see you guys in the next video. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go.